All right, Shalom, Shalom. We are the real Hebrew Israelites coming day in and day out to prophesy the downfall of Babylon the Great, which is America. First off and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Makar Kadash. Double honors to the other apostles of great millstone, salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. Brother Shapaya from GMS Chicago coming at you again with another quick lesson through the Spirit. And today's lesson is most women just gotta die. All right, even the women that you think are closest to you in your life, a lot of them just gonna perish, man. Because at this point, you know, I, I know women are women, and yeah, we are offended certain times, but they women, whatever. A nigga woman gonna do this all, whatever. I mean, that just comes to the territory. But at this point, they offending the Lord, they offending how about you and I was shy. And whatever they did in their lifetimes, if they selected to be a two-third, that's simply what it's going to be, man. All right? There's nothing us as men, there's nothing to us, there's nothing that we could do as prophets, all right? If the Lord has uh, recommend, uh, the Lord reckoned that that person is going to perish, that woman, you know? All right? And... Certain women in my life, I just believe the Lord is just going to slaughter just because they offended him through me, you know. This is a uh, because now the scriptures does say the Lord should save you and your whole household. But that two third ain't part of the household of uh, the Israeli Yahweh, regardless if they're a part of your household or not. Mm, they just got to die. Simply put, I believe that about my wife. I love her to death. But it is what it is, man. You know? Because I know what the Lord tells me through the Spirit. You know, I love her. We're still together. We're still rocking. But at this point, she offended the Lord. Micah 7, I'm starting with verse 8. Rejoice not against me, O my enemy. When I fall, I shall rise. When I sit in darkness, Yahweh should be light unto me. So, you know, a bitch will be, hey, they'll talk shit when you're when you, you, when you at your low point, man. Job's wife is an example, man. All right, they'll talk shit to you at your low point. But when you're in your prosperity, they ain't got shit to say. But even when you are in your prosperity, it's the nigga woman, man. All right? And Paul gave us the best advice, man. Mm, it's better not to marry. I truly believe that, man. Wholeheartedly. But I'm glad the Lord gave me my experience with, with, uh, with uh, women. All right, and giving me wisdom on women and, and certain things of that topic because that's how you get wisdom. You have to experience certain things. So I had to go through certain things myself to understand what Paul was talking about, to understand what the elders was talking about when it came to these women, all right? Because now the spirit on me now is, I don't give a fuck how pretty you is, how ugly you is. Get the fuck away from me, man. That's just where I'm at with women nowadays, man. They're a fucking vexation, all right? Now it says, I will bear the indignation of Yahweh because I have sinned against him until he plead my cause. So we, hey, we, we go through our fucked up situations. We, we have our ups and downs and we under the curses. Why? Because we sinned against Yahweh by Shem So whatever we're going through is well deserved. All right. I have sinned against him until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me who will bring me forth to the light. And I should behold his righteousness. Because guess what? When a lot of people start to see those men that's more precious than the gold of Ophir, all right, then they're going, oh, shit, we fucked up. It's going to be too late then, man. Now, I'm going to tell y'all something deep. When I was with my first wife, I've been woke, well, I've been, I'm about 10 years in, in the truth now. When I first woke up, I had a dark-skinned wife who was rocking whatever for a couple of years. And the wife I'm with now, She's my second wife. You know, I was dealing with them both at the same time, but now I'm just dealing with the one, the latter wife. But before I ever knew the latter wife, years before I met this woman, I had a dream that I was married to a light-skinned woman and I had two children, two girls. Ironically, that's exactly what I have with this woman. And long story sh short, in this vision, we was walking. Now, if any brothers from Chicago, we know 94, the Dan Ryan. I'm walking up the E-Way because everything's in chaos. And, you know, we trying to get cover and, and things of that nature. You know, I mean, it's 
It looks like World War III. It looks like Baghdad. That's how the, that's how the shit look. So I'm telling my wife, hey, follow me, follow me. Yeah, I think she was back there scoffing. You know, I got my kids. I turn around and tell her to follow me one more time. She didn't. A chariot came out of nowhere and zapped her ass, and she turned to fucking dust. I kept my kids, and I kept on going. And by the end of the dream, I had a white suit on, man. Me and a couple of other brothers had white tuxedos, white suits, whatever. You know? And ironically, years later, I'm with this woman. And in my heart, I truly believe the Lord is just going to smoke her. No matter if I ask him to take it away, this or that, I, I really believe she's a two-third. But that's her problem. <laughs> that's her problem. You know? Now, she's trying to humble down, but hey, who knows? You know? Who knows? That's just what I believe. The Lord can do whatever he want to do. He can save her. He can do whatever, you know? It's like, you got to sneeze. <clears throat> yeah. Rocky. All right. Verse 10. Then she that is my enemy shall see it. And shame shall cover her with sin unto me. Where is your how are thy power? My eyes shall behold her. Then shall she be trodden down as Maya of the streets. As a piece of shit, man. That's what's going to happen uh, to a, a lot of you women. Mass majority of you women, especially you women that have offended Yahweh by Shimi Shai and his men. All right? That, that's exactly what's going to happen to you guys, man. Hey, my first wife used to curse the Lord, man. Straight up. Lord cursed her ass with uh, uh, an inf a blood infection. All right? Now, me and her have been broken up for about four, five years. I'm with my new wife. But a year and a half ago, this bitch face swelled up. I mean, it looked like a goddamn potato. She had infections in her sinuses. And the infection was so bad that it got into her blood. And now she just have a blood infection. It's the Lord. It's, hey, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the Lord, man. All right. Now let me give you some more examples. Uh, this is Genesis. 19, I'm starting 24. And Yahweh rained upon Solomon and Gomorrah brimstone and fire from Yahweh out of heaven. Now, this is crazy. This is how it was in my dream. It was just chariots zapping everything, man. All right? And he overthrew those cities and all, and all the plains and all the inhabitants of the city that, uh, and that which grew up upon the ground. Grew upon the ground, so like it. But his wife looked back from behind him, and she became... A pillar of salt. Now, did Lot turn around? Or, oh, wait a no. She turned around. Lord jacked up. He kept on moving. And that's the thing. Fuck these women. Keep on moving. Just like that song. Fuck, fuck chasing that bitch. Win, 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 win. All right? Because these women are atta uh, attached to the world, man. They're worldly, man. They have no idea what wisdom is. They have no idea what spirituality is. They don't have no idea what being spiritual is. Their logic is bullshit. So on and so forth. They're just clamorous, man. So they're very worldly, man. All right? Matter of fact, this is <laughs> Job 2 and 9. I'm starting with Job 2 and 6. And your house, and your house said to Satan, Behold, he is in thy hand, but save his life. So the Lord told Satan, hey, You can jack Job up, just don't kill him. So we went, so we went Satan forth from the pre presence of Yahweh and smote Job with sore boils from the sole of his foot to his crown. Which, hey, if anybody know about having a rash or anything, that shit is irritating. Irritating. One, one year I had fucking... I think I had heat rash. I had little, no, blistering rash. I had little blunt bumps all over my skin. And when they popped, that shit, that shit felt like fire. The only thing that felt good was a scalding hot shower because it felt like it was scratching my, my back and my body. That was it. And I hate steaming hot showers. And shit burn, you know? 
But that was the only thing that soothed me. And you know, of course, Esau gave me some medicine and shit like that. But having that, that's that's highly irritable, man. To the point that this man had to take a pot shed and start scratching. But let, let's read. Verse 8, he took a pot shirt and scraped himself with thaw. And he sat down among the ashes. You know, you know, as you're sitting amongst the, the dust, that's a humbling experience, man. Alright? Um, verse 9. Then said his wife unto him, Do thou still retain thy integrity? Curse God and die. But he said unto her, Thou speakest as one of the foolish women speaketh. All right, she was supposed to be a wise woman, but that shows you. Women that know they got a prophet of the Lord, know he in the truth, and they claim they believe in what he believe in, still are some of the biggest demons, man. I don't trust a woman as far as she, I see it. I don't even trust my daughters. <laughs> they four, and the other one is one. Mm, no, don't trust them. They women. They're, uh, they're e easily controlled by demons and easily controlled uh, by this world. All right. Now, through the spirit, I have some amazing daughters, you know. Um, what should we receive? I mean, what should we receive good at the hand of Yahweh and not receive evil? And all this, Job, I mean, and all this did not Job sin with his lips. So he didn't talk shit. Obviously, the Lord is jacking me up for a reason. And the Lord blessed us. Of course, we're going to get cursed, too. We're going to receive both. The Lord does both, man. This bitch done seen all the things the Lord did for Job and still scoffed. That should show you the integrity of a woman. They have none. Okay? Uh, let me get this. Let me get this. This is Tobit. I'm gonna get two and fourteen. Tobit two and fourteen. I'm gonna start with eleven. And when my wife Anna did take woman's work to do, and when she had sent them home to the owners, they paid her wages and gave her also, besides a kid. And when, he, and when it was in my house and began to cry, I said unto her, From whence is this kid? Is it not stolen? Render it to the uh, owners. For it is not lawful to eat anything that is stolen. But she replied unto me, It was given for a gift more than rages. Howbeit, I did not believe her, but bade her, <laughs> bade her to render it unto the owners. And I was abased at her, but she replied unto me, Where are thy alms and thy righteous deeds? Behold, <laughs> thou and all thy works are known. So, hey, she was scoffing Tobit, man. All right? I showed you the spirit of Tobit. All right? Now, she said, you know, she was paid a goat, but just to stay the women, you just don't trust them, man. Hey, who was that? Was that Rebecca? When they were supposed to get rid of all the idols, what did she do? She sat on it under a pillow and lied and said, you know, she was on her period. Just, women are like that, man. Sarah laughed and giggled. All right? There ain't things of that nature, man. These are women that we're dealing with, man. So don't be surprised if a woman you hold dear to your heart is just marked for death. That's just what it is. A lot was a prophet. See what happened to his wife. Job was a prophet. And his wife was scoffing. And like I said, what he said, she that is my enemy. So just be prepared for that, brothers. I pray that the Lord make you strong enough. Ah, oh, let me get the Ezekiel. I ain't going to end it yet. Let me get this Ezekiel. I believe it's the 24th chapter. This is Ezekiel 24 and 15. This is hard. This is a hard scripture. Also, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, behold, I take away from thee the desire of thy eyes with a stroke. Who's the desire of your eyes? Your wife. Yet, neither shalt thou mourn or weep, neither shall any tear run down. This is a scripture I thought about when I had that dream. Hmm? I just kept on moving forward. 
For, 17, forbear to cry, make no mourning for the dead. Bind thy tire on thy head. So like it, bind the tire of thy head upon thee, which is like a turban, and put on the shoes of thy feet and cover not thy lips and eat not the bread of men. So I spake, what, what was the Lord telling him to do? Go preach, right? So I spake unto the people in the morning and at even my wife died. And I did in the morning as I was commanded. And the people said unto me, Wilt thou not tell us what these things are to us that thou was doing so? And it says, Then I answered them, The word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, uh, Hey, I'm just finishing up. Speaking to the house of Israel, Thus saith Yahweh thy power, Behold, I will profane my sanctuary, thy excellence of thy sh of your strength and the desire of your eyes, and that which your soul pitieth, and your sons and your daughters whom ye have left shall fall by the sword. And ye should do as I have done. Ye should not cover your lips, nor eat the bread of men. It, it was it was all symbolic uh symbolic, all right? What happened to Elijah, what was about to happen to the nation of Israel? I mean uh Ezekiel. All right, it says, and your your tire should be upon your head, and your shoes upon your feet, and you should not mourn nor weep, but you should pine away for your iniquities and mourn toward another, one toward another. All right. So what did Ezekiel do? He he, he continued to do what the Lord told him to. Don't cry. Don't eat the the bread of men. Go speak. Go preach. Go prophesy. Well, don't worry about your wife dying. Because the comfort in that, she's in a whole, a whole better place. But these things happen, is what I'm saying, you know. So with that, I pray you was edified. All praises, honor, glory be unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kar Kadash. Double honors to the other apostles of great millstone salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. A hey, beautiful lesson, the elder apostle, uh, the elder, it's like I'm excited. The elder apostle Gabar said, it's called... Don't tell me about the bore. <laughs> Go watch that video, brothers. All right? Shalom.